Kid Tashay and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you are new. Today I'm going to be showing you all my top favorite beauty products at the moment. So let's just get right into it. Alright. So right now these are the items that I'm loving and I use all the time. This number one is the Hello Feb Coconut Skin Smooth Priming Moisturizer. I mentioned this in another uh, video, my Sephora haul video, so go check that out if you want to know more about this. But oh my gosh, I am loving, loving, loving this. It just goes on so smooth and it just brightens up my skin. And it's um, a primer and a moisturizer. You don't have to use it when you apply makeup. You can use it just on an everyday basis, even if you're not wearing any makeup. And I do that a lot for my no makeup look. It's just absolutely bomb, <laughs> bomb. I just love it like it gives like a beautiful glow to your skin and it just goes on so smooth and just highlights everything and I really feel like it's moisturizing my skin so yes and again I got this from Sephora and this is what it looks like all right let's move on to the next item number two the fit me foundation by Maybelline and this is a drugstore foundation. I do have um, high-end foundations, but this is actually my favorite one. And so that just goes to show that just because something costs more doesn't mean that it's always better. But um, this is my favorite one. It's not the best if you're looking for a full coverage foundation, but it works really good. And it's only like $6. You can get it from Walmart, Target, wherever. Um, again, it's... Um, the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation and it's a matte foundation and I get it in the shade 322 Warm Honey and I love it. I love it. I use it all the time. It's not the foundation that I'm wearing right now. The foundation that I'm wearing right now is a full coverage and it's my first time trying it so I'm not going to get into that right now. Um, after I get a feel for it I will let you all know how that works out but this is a full coverage as you can see full coverage <laughs> so yes if you want to know more about the foundation that I'm wearing right now then I will mention that in another video alright next oh my gosh I love highlighter next is my MAC highlighter and it is oh darling extra dimension skin finish and I love it I use it all the time I use it on my shoulders I use it on my neck on my face on other body parts and legs whatever just to add that extra glow and it looks really pretty on my skin tone and I love it and I got this from MAC and again it's oh darling extra dimension skin finish next trophy wife oh my gosh this is my favorite Fenty Beauty product trophy wife kilowatt mine is a mess right now because I dropped it when I was traveling Ooh. but I love it you just got to be careful how much you put on. I'm wearing it right now. I don't know if you can catch that highlight camera. Can you catch this popping highlight? Can you can you get that? Come on, let's zoom in on that. It's not going to zoom in. I don't have a cameraman. Anyway, so this is my other favorite item at the moment. My favorite beauty item. Yes, I love Trophy Wife. It just adds that extra finishing pop and glow to any look, whether you're doing a full glam look or a little natural look it looks good and I love it I love it I love it sometimes I use it in little creases of my eyes um, I put some on my eyelids for eyeshadow but most of the time I'm just putting it on that cheekbone and using it as a pop and highlight next by Fenty Beauty again my matchsticks these are my I have more matchsticks but these are my favorite and these are truffle rum and almond I love these because they're so convenient, they're so easy, they're so smooth and it's just easy to apply to just sit there and stroke your skin and then blend it in and it's just really easy and I really enjoy easy and convenient things so this works for me because I'm not some makeup guru, I'm not uh, really big on making, creating flawless looks but these are really easy for an on-the-go routine for those of you who are busy these are really easy I love 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 my matchsticks and the last Fenty Beauty product not the last of my favorite but the last Fenty Beauty I'm also wearing this right now too 
and this is the Mademoiselle lipstick and candy venom so I have this on my lips right now I think it's a cute look for oh excuse me did that just happen not ladylike at all sorry I'm sorry guys I'm human I think this is a beautiful shade for the spring and for the summer and it just looks really pretty see this tropical look I created with this lipstick in my tropical earrings which you will see in my vacation vlog if you haven't watched that go check it out and next better than sex mascara don't put on my top lashes because i have eyelash extensions but i've been using it on my bottom lashes lately and i have put it on my top lashes before and i love it um it really looks really good and it just makes that extra pop on my lashes but um but um, right now, I'm just using it on my bottom lashes, but it's still my top favorite. And every time I apply makeup, I am using this. Next is my Anastasia Dip Brow. I love to do my eyebrows with this. It's very easy to apply. The shade is medium brown. And I just take a brush, apply, stroke, blah, blah, blah. And I move on to the next step, which leads to my next item. This is new, something new I got. Um, it is by Hourglass, and it is Arc Fiber Gel in Dark Brunette. I love this. After I finish applying my Anastasia Dip Brow, I... <coughs> what is wrong with me? I get it. <coughs> I'm burping, coughing, <coughs> choking. <coughs> anyway, after I apply my dip brow, I let it sit for a minute and then I go in and I apply this brow gel and it basically just sets my eyebrows and locks everything in and I love the finishing look. I love the finishing touch. It looks very nice and neat and before, sometimes my eyebrows were a little bit crazy still even after I did them. Not, not crazy, but this just creates a neat and clean finish. So yes, I love this and the strokes on the brush. I don't know if you can see that. The strokes on a brush, it comes with a short side and a long side. So I use the long side to tease my eyebrows and then I use the short side to go in, add those strokes, the finishing touches and smooth it out. And I love this product. I really, 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 really love this. Most of my makeup I get is from Sephora. Most of my beauty products I get are from Sephora. And next is this lip gloss from MAC and it's called Vamplify. I can't show you. Oh, I can give it a swap on my hand. Um, I don't even think MAC carries this anymore. But I wish they did because I love this shade on me. I love to just apply it on my lips when I don't want to wear lipstick and I just want a glossy look. But it still gives that extra pop to your makeup. I just love it. Let me go ahead and swatch this for you guys. Don't know if that, uh, that was it. I wish they would bring it back in. This shade is just so freaking pretty. It's like a mauve shade. I'm pretty sure I can find another gloss similar to this. But I haven't even tried the look yet, honestly, because I just, I'm so in love with this one in particular. But being that they don't sell it anymore, I guess I'm going to have to find something else similar to it. If you know anything similar to this shade, can you please comment below and let me know? Because I would really, really like to try it out. All right, and last of my current favorite beauty products, these green tea wipes or are they wipes would you call them wipes uh i would call them wipes but these green tea wipes um and i got these from sephora again these are in my sephora uh haul that i uploaded a little while back if you haven't checked that out and i just love these i really love them they smell so good these feel amazing on my skin. They feel amazing. Like as soon as I apply it to my face, instantly my face feels so refreshing and cool. And I just love it. I just feel really, really, really refreshed as soon as I apply it to my skin. 
and um, I really feel like it's doing something cleaning out my pores it's supposed to help with breakouts too so if you have acne it's supposed to help with that I don't really have acne issues so I can't really say if it works well for acne um, but it does promote um, visible and clear and smoother skin and I can say that it has been doing that for me like I said as soon as I apply it to my skin I instantly feel refreshed and I feel such a clean cool and crisp feeling I just love these and again I got these from Sephora and they have another one too other than the green tea I think it's a citrus I'm not sure what it is actually so don't quote me on that I'm just thinking it's like citrus lemon orange I don't know just go ahead and go in there and check these out I definitely recommend these and if you do get these use them like twice a week at least if you want to keep your face nice and clean and smooth and clear I, I would say use it twice a week and I do and don't use it as a makeup remover make sure you already have all makeup off your face before applying this to your skin because that is very important because I mean they could wipe your makeup off but that's not its purpose and you want it to deep clean those pores and get your skin really good so make sure you use your makeup wipes or your makeup whatever you use to remove your makeup go ahead and use that first before using these that is all and i had wings stop in the kitchen waiting for me so we're going to wrap it look i'm making a mess i'm a clumps that's it anyway i have wings stop in there waiting for me and your girl is hungry so we're going to wrap this up thank you for watching see y'all next time peace